Hello everybody and welcome back. In this lecture series, we are going to create, train and evaluate the cardiac detection model. At the end of this unit, you will have a network capable of accurately predicting the position of the heart in X-ray images. Before starting, let's briefly discuss the necessary libraries. We use Torch and Torch Vision for model and data loader creation, PyTorch Lightning to handle the training, the model checkpoint callback and the TensorBoard logger for checkpoint saving and logging, NumPy for data loading, CB2 for visualization purposes, the Augmentress library from EMG Org for our augmentation pipeline and last but not least our cardiac dataset. At first we should define the paths to the x-ray images and corresponding patient IDs. Let's create a variable called train underscore root path which takes the path to the train images. In my case this is simply processed heart detection slash train. The train subjects are also stored in this directory as train subjects dot npy. Additionally, we define the validation root path, which is simply processed heart detection slash val. Last but not least, we define the path to the validation subjects. They are stored in the same directory in the file val underscore subjects.npy. Now we can define our augmentation pipeline and store it in a variable called train underscore transforms. It takes the EMG org sequential object to which we pass the same augmentation functions we already used when evaluating our data set. This included random contrast changes and random affine operations. In fact, we use random scalings from 0.8 to 1.2, random rotations from minus 10 to 10 degrees and random translations from minus 10 to 10 pixels. All right, let's define our data sets. We start with the train data set, which takes our cardiac data set object to which we pass at first the path to the label CSV file, which is in my case simply the file name as I'm working in the same directory. Next, our train subjects, the train root path, and last but not least, our training augmentation pipeline. To define the validation data set, we can simply copy this line from above, replace train subject and train root path by validation subjects and validation root path respectively, and replace our augmentation pipeline by none, as we don't want to apply test time augmentation. Last but not least, we define batch size plus num workers and finally create our train and validation data loader. For the task of cardiac detection, I will use a batch size of 8 and 4 num workers. Let's create a train loader by calling torch.utils.data.data loader to which we pass our train data set. The batch size, the num workers, and set shuffle to true. Again, when defining our validation loader, we simply copy the line from above, replace train data set by val data set, and set shuffle to false. Cool, our data loading routine is complete. In the next lecture, we will create the cardiac detection model. Thanks.